Greetings to the individuals of the far-off world. I want to welcome you back to another Python programming tutorial looking at the RE module and regular expressions. Awesome. Now, in this video, we're going to actually going to be looking at some real, finally, RE regular expression stuff and some contents of the Python RE module. Freaking finally, I know. I want to introduce the idea to you guys known as flags. And I'm going to preface this this notion or this concept with a little experiment, you know? I'm going to I'm going to jump down to our our string here. Uh keep in mind we're using the pattern of a uh, of the dot asterisk, so everything that we can possibly kind of capture. The dot means anything and the asterisk means as much as possible. And let's say in our string we added a new line, you know, a a, a backslash n. And uh, how about another? How about another backslash n? What if I added the actual words backslash n? Let's let's make that a word. Let's make it e n n because you know, for those forensics, forensics. I don't <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> All right, let's check this out in our terminal. What will actually happen? We've got our re testing program. Let's run it, and let's say this is a joke, right? And then we've got our new line. Then we've got our new line, and we've got backslash n, but how come how come backslash n isn't highlighted? I mean the the dot asterisk is supposed to supposed to capture everything, right? Everything is supposed to match. W T far? <laughs> okay. This is a joke, right? <laughs> Let's check it out in the documentation. Let's see what we have here. Keep in mind that the dot, the special character of the dot, in the default mode the dot will match any character except a new line. Well, gee, that certainly explains what was going on there. If the dot all flag has been specified, this matches any character including a new line. Okay, awesome. What is, what is this dot all flag? The dot all flag, when we, when we check it out, it will make the dot special character match any character at all including a new line. Without this flag, obviously the dot will match anything except a new line. And we obviously just saw that being demonstrated within our program. So, how do we add this flag? Well, we know we're using the, the search function to find a match. Let's check out what will the search actually do. The search program, the search function, will scan through a string looking for a location with a regular expression pattern, produces a match, blah, 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 blah. Where is flags? Does it explain? Hmm. Let's let's actually take a look for what flags are. Alright. F this. I'll just I'll just show you guys what these do. Dot all. Check out what these are. Um the things below. Expressions behaviors can be modified by specifying flags or a flag value. They can be any of the following variables, which are kind of like constants in the uh, RE module, and they can be combined using the bitwise OR or the pipeline operator. But all of these flags are added at the very end. They're, they're an option, keep in mind, of our search um, of our search function. So we don't have to have these. Obviously, we, we ran the program before and without them, but now we can add them. I'll read debug. That will display debug information about the compiled expression. And when we get to compiling expressions with the compile function, you'll see a lot of these happening more and more with regular expression objects. And we have I, which is ignore case, where we will perform case insensitive matches. Expressions like uh, character sets A through Z will match lowercase letters too and that doesn't make any uh, changes by the user's current settings on their computer. Let's actually experiment with that. Let's do re.ignore, is it an underscore? No, it's all one word, ignore case. And let's look for this with the capital letters. Let's go to our terminal over here. Run the program. This is being found, and now let's change the this pattern to a lowercase t. Remember, in a few videos back, this returned uh, an error. We didn't actually find a match. Well, what will happen now? This will be found, even though the T is lowercase, because we've supplied this re.ignoreCase flag. It's sort of like a setting 
or property for your regular expression. So let's look at more of these. Let's look at uh, locale. Um, locale is like a user's like sort of current settings on their computer. So anything that matches words, not words, um, blocks, not blocks, and spaces and not spaces, dependent on the current locale. I'm not going to mess with that. Uh, if you want to research into that on your own, be my guest. But another one, <laughs> moving right along, the multi-line flag. When specified, the pattern character dot, uh, I'm sorry, uh, sorry, the caret matches the beginning of new string and the beginning of new line, blah, blah, blah. We'll get into the multi-line next. And uh, the dot all is the one that we're actually going to be looking at in this video. It will make the dot special character match any character at all, including a new line, which is what we were just kind of experimenting in our program. Let's use that dot all flag, and let's change this back to dot asterisk. Let's check out what this will do in our, in our program. This is a joke, right? And it'll also include the new line, it'll include the other new line, and it'll include backslash n, the other words that we added on. Sweet! Freaking sweet! You know? Cool. So that flag will allow us to make some changes to the regular expression. Dude, that's awesome. Unicode, that's another flag. Uh, it will make these uh, other special characters dependent on the Unicode character properties database. Again, I'm not going to touch that. And verbose, this flag allows you to write regular expressions that look a little bit nicer. So if you want to really expand what your, um, your, your regular expression is actually saying, you can add spaces to it. Um, you can go ahead and create new lines, so you can actually even add comments so you're okay with what they're doing and that sort of thing. You can kind of figure out on your own what the heck your regular expression is actually doing. You can just sort of write it into your actual pattern. So I'm not going to use that flag, but I want you to know that it ex exists, and uh, it's an option. So boom, quick and easy, those are flags, and you can add those to many of the functions in the RE module, and it just sort of like specifies what really will happen in your regular expression uh, match or, or pattern. So cool. We use the dot all one, and we also use the ignore case flag. Actually, we'll keep that, and we'll use this. Oh, ignore case. What the heck am I saying? Ignore case, and that works just fine. If we didn't have that flag, we would not see the match. So, it's a good thing that we have that. The next one we're going to be looking at is multi-line, and we'll get into that in the next video. <laughs> cool. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. It's really fun to make. I love making these videos. Sometimes I get myself in a lull where I can't produce much of anything, but your support is what keeps me going. So maybe like the video, maybe leave a comment, maybe subscribe. I don't know. It's whatever you want to do, guys. But thank you for watching, and uh, I hope to see you in the next tutorial.